All right, let's get right into our topic today. And that is this, go after peace. Go after peace. Romans chapter 14 verse 19 states the following. Therefore, let us pursue the things which make, excuse me, which make for peace. And the things which, uh, which one may edify one another. Let me go through that again. Therefore, let us pursue the things which make for peace and the things which one may edify one another. In other words, we need to be pursuing and going after anything that brings peace. Anything that's going to build up, anything that's going to edify, anything that's going to equip somebody to do what they meant to do. You see, many of us need that encouragement, need that building, need that input. But I want to say this in the mighty name of Jesus. As you go forth, the blessing, the anointing, and the power of God is upon you to make a difference. Do not think for one second that if you're a Christian, you carry nothing. I want to say that I've had extensive dealings with Satanism and the occult through the years. I want to say this, one of the things that they always recognized as a simple thing, a Christian carries something. One of the biggest things that the Satanists always told me, if only the Christians knew the power that they carried. And so I want to say to you, you have the power to bring peace. You have the power to build up. You have the power to bring people into fullness and into the glory that God has intended them to be. When we pursue peace and we say, what can we do to edify you, to build you up, to get you going? I want to tell you right now, there is a supernatural anointing. There is a supernatural transfer that takes place. And that power that is within you starts moving and God starts strengthening the individual and the church of Jesus Christ gets strengthened. They get strong. God has never intended the body to be weak. Listen carefully. God has never intended the body of Christ to be weak. Jesus Christ does not come back for a weak pride. He comes back for a glorious church. One that is full of power. One that is full of authority. One that is restricting the evil one. That brings change wherever they go. So I want to tell you right now saints. Do not take this lightly. Pursue peace. Go and bring about a peace wherever you go. And edifying those around you in the name of Jesus. Alright. Uh, people are asking me for the scripture. Romans chapter 14 verse 19. Romans 14 verse 19. So this morning as we come around the table. Let us ask God to release the anointing of God that is in us. To bring about peace. To bring about exhortation. To bring about power. Because God wants to strengthen and build up the church in Jesus' name. On the night that Jesus was betrayed, He took bread and broke it. He said, this is my body that was broken for you. Take in remembrance of me. He took the cup. He said, this is my blood that was shed for you. Take in remembrance of me. The body of Christ was broken for our physical and emotional healing in Jesus' name. The blood of Christ was shed for our salvation, protection and provision. So right now, as we come around the table, let us ask God to not only identify and recognize that we have a calling and an anointing on us, but to go and pursue and release peace wherever we go in Jesus' name. Lord, we come before you right now. We ask you please to forgive us of any wrongdoing, any wrong thought, any wrong action, any wrong motive, any wrong intention. Lord, I ask you please to wash us white as snow. But Lord, right now, I thank you that as we stand righteous and holy before you, Lord, I thank you that you're going to do something supernatural for each one of us in Jesus' mighty name. And Lord, I thank you that we will recognize that we carry an authority. We carry the anointing. And Lord, wherever we go, we will release peace and bold and edify and exhort and, ex and exalt the body of Christ. Lord, I pray right now that we will bold each other up. And Lord, that we will go after peace and release the anointing on each and every one in Jesus' name. 
God, I thank you that the church of Jesus Christ is not weak. Lord, that we are strong and mighty. And Lord, we carry the anointing to break the yoke of bondage over each and every individual. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let's partake together, saints. Lord, right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, I release the power of God into our physical bodies. I command every single symptom to bow its knee and to leave us. God, I thank you for divine health, divine healing. And Father, I release the power of God over us. Lord, I thank you that we are blessed. And Lord, wherever we go, Lord, we are healed in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, God, that every symptom submits and bows its knees to the name of Jesus Christ. I walk in divine health and divine healing in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you that by your stripes I was healed. And Lord, that there's no sickness around me in the name of Jesus Christ. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Well, saints, I want to bless you. I want to commend you. I want to encourage you to go and do what God has called you to do. Amen. All right. As you can hear, there's a lot of action happening in my house right now. It's just happening all over. I'm not sure what's going on. Okay, so just bear with us. Guys, this is live. Okay, this is what happens. All right, but I want to say this. I have seen so many miracles. So many miracles take place yesterday. All right, so many places where it was just peaceful. Like I said, there were pockets that were trying to stand up. Now I want to say this to the body of Christ and please listen to me and get this word out there. Do not back off for the next few days. Do not back off for the next few days. All right. There is a sense that there is a second wave coming. Not that there's reports. I'm talking about in the spirit. All right. That Satan is trying to come up with a second wave. We are going to pray and we're going to keep that momentum up. Because we are restricting everything that Satan is doing right now. Okay. Now these pockets of trouble. We are going to pray against that today. I've just heard that there's some issues around Belito. Okay. And we're going to pray. This is not going to take hold in the name of Jesus. But I want to say this saints. As the church prays. We are seeing big, big, big breakthroughs. Alright. This was expected to be a national Pressure across the nation. And God came through supernaturally for us. I want us to pray. And we are going to keep this thing in prayer. And we're going to cover it for the next two days. And say God this thing totally subsides. And it totally dies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Alright. We are not going to have. Uh, these things pop up all over the place. We are going to bring a peace. We are going to bring the blessing. And we're going to bring the power of God into our areas in Jesus' name. The Bible says we need to pursue peace. All right. Our life is not to be turmoiled. It's not to be chaos. We are supposed to be living under the peace of God, the blessing of God, and the prosperity of God in Jesus' name. Jesus paid that price. And we are going to enforce it in Jesus' name. Let's pray. Lord, right now in the name of Jesus, we pray over our nation right now. I thank you, Lord, that there is peace over our nation. God, we thank you for what you supernaturally did yesterday. Lord, that this shutdown did not take hold and it did not accomplish what it was set out to do in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you that the church restricted every single area of the attack in Jesus' name. But Lord, right now, where these pockets are trying to stand up, I bind the demonic influence over them in Jesus' name. I come against the demonic influence, particularly over Belito right now. Lord, I release peace over that place in Jesus' name. I bind and restrict every demonic force that's trying to drive this thing in the Belito area. I come against it in the name of Jesus. Lord, we stand together as the body of Christ. We stand in unity. And we release peace over our nation. Over the entire nation. God, I thank you that these pockets die out immediately in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I thank you for the blessing. Thank you for the anointing. I thank you for the peace of God. 
Lord, we release the power of God. And I release confusion into the enemy's camp. Lord, whoever's busy with these actions right now, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that there will be such confusion that they will turn against each other and they will just start dissipating and stop what they are doing in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, God, that there is peace and blessing over our nation. Lord, I pray right now that we will go into a new level of authority and anointing in this nation. Lord, that we will stand together and release the anointing and the power of God that is in us. Lord, that we will keep the atmosphere and the environments open in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray right now that you're going to do something supernatural in and through each believer in the name of Jesus. That we will be equipped, we will be ready, and we will stand God in Jesus' name. Lord, we release the peace of God. We release the power of God. We release the anointing of God. We release the blessing of God over our nation. In Jesus' mighty name. We declare South Africa blessed. We declare South Africa at peace. And we declare South Africa prosperous in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, right now, we pray your blessing over each and every family. Father, I cut off any type of whiplash, any comeback on the families that have stood in the gap. I thank you, God, that families are blessed. Businesses are blessed. Cities are blessed. Towns are blessed. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. All right, folks. I want to tell you what's going on. All right. We are going to be writing some more topics that we are going to be teaching. And so I want to ask you, if you have any topics that are on your heart, anything that you have on your heart, please put this up. Believers at fathersart.co.za. Please, I want to ask you, Go and send us an email with the topics, all right, so that we could then start writing some more topics, but particularly around what you would like, all right? So please, to send us an email to say, please write on this topic. We'll go through the topics, and from them, we will choose, and then we'll do the research, and we'll teach it so that you have some more uh, tools, all right, some more answers that you might be struggling with. Amen? And then... I also want to just say that we're coming to uh, uh, Nelspreet next week, Friday. I mean, Nelspreet, please go and register. If you're in the Nelspreet, uh, Vitrafir, uh, White River area, anywhere around there, all right, and then Kamati Port, we're on Saturday night. If you're in any of those areas, register and come and join us. Come and get your impartation. Come and get your activation, okay? And then especially for the guys who are down the weekend, that come down to Marloth Park area, come and join us anyway, okay? You can you can spend an evening getting on fire for God, amen? And so I want to just pray and activate the people and make sure that we carry the anointing, the power that is needed in Jesus' name, amen? So please come and join us uh, Friday night. We're in now spray and then Saturday evening, that's next weekend, not this weekend, next weekend, all right? Uh, and we're in Kamati Port. All right, let's get to our declaration today. In Jesus' name, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I preferential treatment, supernatural increase, restoration, increased assets, great victories, recognition, prominence, petitions granted, policies and rules changed, battles won that I did not have to fight, all because of the blessing and the favor of God on my life. So saints, go out with might, go out with valor, release peace wherever you go. And I'm going to ask you for the next two days, let's release peace and release confusion in the enemy's camp so that there will be peace over our nation, that there's not a single pocket anywhere of trouble in Jesus' name. Amen.